Hello, and welcome to another harrowing episode of the Hellion Rebellion Rock and Roll Association brought to you by Highly Geist. If you are new to this channel, a lot of times we start the show off with a moment of silence. Um, tonight's silent shout out it goes to a, a man by the name of Raymond Vogelman. Raymond Vogelman is better known by his nickname Raybo, who was a vocalist for the band Bone Crusher, who was a fixture on the Orange County hardcore scene. He was also in a group called The Divided, which I have to admit I've, I'm not familiar with. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and, and give it up, the silent shout-out to uh, Raymond uh, Raybo Vogelman. Okay, <clears throat> may uh, Raybo find uh, the windows unbarred inside of the hallowed halls of rock and roll Valhalla to uh, keep with the California motif. Tonight we're going all the way to East Bay. To the town of Berkeley, California, which I believe is right outside of San Francisco, to bring you a band who popped up in 1978 called Psychotic Pineapple. Psychotic Pineapple is a strange, quirky one indeed. They would put out one full-length record and a couple of singles. Uh, kind of like uh, this one. I wanna 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 I wanna 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 <clears throat> get rid of you. Oh, <laughs> it was wanna 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 get rid of you. I, I forgot three wannas in there. Um, psychotic pineapple was uh was sort of a surrealistic garage kind of thing. Uh, if I were to compare them to any band, it would probably be the Dickies. Uh, they were labeled as a new wave punk band in uh, the late 70s. <clears throat> they would go on to about 1981. So this is a very short-lived band. One, one release. Um, they they would put on these really fun shows where they had a giant pineapple bouncing around on stage, interacting with the crowd, interacting with the band. And then every song 
kind of like musical chairs or a clown car or something, the band members would start switching in instruments. The drummer would run to the keyboards, and the keyboard player would run to the guitar, and the guitarist would run to the bass, and somebody else would sing. So they would put on these shows where it was just song after song after song, and they were just rushing around the stage while you have this bouncing pineapple being held up by the crowd, you know, <clears throat> kind of like some crazy sports mascot or something. And, and they were just having a good time putting on a show. Other than that, oh! Fun fact, fun fact. Uh, the key, the main keyboard player, uh, Alex Carlin, would end up getting into the Guinness Book of World Records somewhere in the mid-80s for putting on the longest concert in the history of rock concerts. So Alex Carlin would go solo after Psychotic Pineapple, And he played a show in the uh, the great realm of, of Poland where he was playing a lot of his solo work and a lot of the psychotic pineapple stuff. And he played this music for 32 hours straight. A 32-hour straight concert. I mean, you could be Ozzy Osbourne, you could be the Rolling Stones, you could be the Beatles, you could be Metallica, you could be Guns N' Roses. After about four hours, three to four hours, I, even I'd be like, all right, we need, we need an intermission, or we need to resume this tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm tapped out. I'm tapped out. Tapped out. Can you imagine seeing this quirky individual play these quirky songs for 32 hours straight? The people of Poland in, in the mid-80s must have been starved for entertainment uh, to want to even see this. Um, I would like to know somebody who actually saw this and, and, and tell me about this, because this this is fascinating to me so without further ado how about we check out psychotic pineapple Let me 
know, now that I'm thinking about it, because I, I haven't listened to this in about a year, knowing that they're from the land of Berkeley, this is kind of a precursor to the whole Gilman Street Lookout Records thing. I, I, I can totally hear these early 90s bands like Pansy Division, Corrupted Peasant Farmers, uh, really early Green Day. Um, God, who else would have? Paper Tulips, Bad Trip, like a lot of those early lookout bands being influenced by this. This is definitely like a 10, 15 year precursor to a lot of those jangly pop punk sort of bands. Um, Tell me what you think in the comments below. Let's listen to the second side. I can I'm I'm no Muppet Master. sounds like psychotic pineapple i hope you enjoyed it uh, uh, sometimes you got to get down with the freak beat um kind of wonder what these these guys are doing these days uh it'd be kind of cool to see them put out a, a, a another psychotic pineapple record after 40 years or whatever but uh okay Hope everybody's doing well. Remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And I will see you next time. Peace and love.